Yes, hello, good evening everyone. Good evening world once again. This is Coach Ayer. And this is your Coach Pressy. Yes, and welcome to Kingdom Talk. Today, That's Coach right. Pressy, we are so honored to have this um, woman of God in this program, Kingdom Talk, because uh, I think uh, way back uh, so many years ago, mm -hmm. uh, we just uh, watching uh, Trista so in, 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 YouTube. in her program in mm -hmm. YouTube, but now God has given us the privilege yes, to have right. him personally in this mm -hmm. program, Kingdom Talk. And we thank God for this opportunity. And mm -hmm. uh, Ma'am Trista is a mentee of Dr. Miles Monroe. Yes. So we are so blessed to have her once again in this program, Kingdom Talk. Mm -hmm. Actually, Coach Presley, most of his videos, her video. uh, her videos, I downloaded it from YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I listened it again and again. Because uh, I, I, I feel in my spirit that this woman of God, of the, she is functioning in the principles of the kingdom of God. That's why I like this woman of God. That's right. Person. So we're just watching her in the video. But now here we are <laughs> talking to her and uh, we thank God for her life. Yes. Thank you for sharing your time, yes. your life and for allowing God to 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 be used by your life mm -hmm. through the the influence also of your dad Dr. Miles Monroe mm -hmm. which is, we are also uh, being uh, just just like what I always saying cuz I am a, a mentee online mentee don't, don't <laughs> without <laughs> and, and he didn't know that I am his mentee because yes. uh, almost I think almost uh, 50 or 100 uh, videos. videos of Dr. Miles Monroe. I downloaded it also mm -hmm. in my phone and hearing, hearing and hearing again and again uh, so that I can learn about the kingdom of God. Yes. So welcome to the, the program, uh, Ma'am Trista. Thank you so much. It's always an honor. I love the work that you guys are doing and your part in expanding the kingdom of God mm -hmm. using technology. Yes. Mm -hmm. and so I am very honored to be here today. Yes, and Coach Presley, do you want to say anything? Yes, and uh, again, get ready, everyone, because for tonight, Mom Trisa will gonna rock our world <laughs> through the message of the kingdom. Yes, this is your show, this is your program, Dominate All the Spirit of Influence. Very good, thank you. Um, so today, I wanted to discuss three views mm -hmm. of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And these views are the ones that I personally have gone through mm -hmm. in, in my seeking the kingdom. Mm -hmm. oh. Because I have been a Christian since I was five. I was actually the first one saved in my family oh. uh, because my parents put me in a Christian school. Mm -hmm. So I was learning the scriptures, mm -hmm. going to chapel, and my grandma was taking me to church. Mm -hmm. And I started out very young with my faith in God and my relationship with God. And I would mm -hmm. sing to him and talk to him <laughs> when it was nap time. And <laughs> I remember the moment so vividly and I would write poems to him and say, I can't wait to be with you. Mm -hmm. So I developed a, a childlike relationship mm -hmm. as a child mm -hmm. with him. And, you know, growing up in the church, and going to Oral Roberts University, which is also where uh, Dr. Miles Monroe went, mm -hmm. you can go through and live your life in this Christian bubble, mm -hmm. but yet know nothing about the kingdom of yes, God. That's right. right. And I have to give a prelude from a personal experience that just happened this week. Mm -hmm. My friend Robert and I were invited to teach in a church mm -hmm. very close to uh, Naples here. Mm -hmm. And we, we met with the pastor at lunch before we went to the church to teach because he wanted to get to know us. But he heard that I had been personally mentored by Dr. Miles Monroe. Mm -hmm. And he says, this is great. I just started listening to his teachings. <laughs> oh. And please come teach us about the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And we said, great, of course, <laughs> let's do this. You'll get it. I know everyone's seeking it. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Last week, I, uh, uh, Robert taught on Thursday, my friend, and he talked a lot about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, I taught, but my goal was to teach the nuts and bolts of mm -hmm. how the kingdom of 
God is not a religion. It mm -hmm. is not yes. politics. It is mm -hmm. not Christianity. Mm -hmm. It is a government. Yes. It is a nation. It is mm -hmm. a country. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have citizenship. We have rights. We have benefits. We have mm -hmm. obligations. We must stay in right standing mm -hmm. with our government. Mm -hmm. And so I was breaking it down the logistics of how a government works and how different it is than a yes. religion. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was teaching for about an hour, an hour and a half. The pastor was sitting there with his family. They were loving it. They're like, yes. <laughs> and they just they were so excited. Mm -hmm. I was excited. They were pulling up from me. <laughs> and as and I want I want you to, I want everybody to hear what I'm about to say. And then I'm going to show you in the scripture proof of, of mm -hmm. exactly what happens. Mm -hmm. And I warned them at the end. I said, listen, this is the only message that is a threat to the enemy, is yeah. a mm -hmm. threat to the kingdom of darkness. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the only message. And he immediately will come as soon as I'm done talking, as yeah. soon as the service is over, mm -hmm. to come and snatch away mm -hmm. the seeds that were planted. Mm -hmm. This is the only message mm -hmm. that yes. is a threat. So I know he's here mm -hmm. because this is the message <laughs> that is a threat mm -hmm. to, to his kingdom of ignorance, darkness. Mm -hmm. And I warned them. The pastor came up and I'm handing him the mic. Mm -hmm. And before I could get off the stage, he says, Trista, can you come back on Thursday and continue teaching? <laughs> mm -hmm. We got, we need more and more. Mm -hmm. And I said, let me check my calendar. I cannot promise yet. And then I went and I sat down. Mm -hmm. So while I was seated, they were singing and ending the service. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my calendar and I, and I could not. My son had a musical and it was last night, Thursday night mm -hmm. at his school. Mm -hmm. And so five minutes later, the pastor asked me from the stage, he says, Trista, can you come back on Thursday? And I said, mm -hmm. no, I'm sorry, I cannot. So service is over and he's with Robert in his office. Mm -hmm. And I'm out at my book table with my friends. Um, and he's in there struggling. Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand. Th this does she hate the church i don't understand <laughs> he started struggling with the message mm -hmm. immediately as soon as it was over <laughs> whereas during the service he invited me twice to come back and teach mm -hmm. and then he went to dinner with robert mm -hmm. that night and I, I just i can't i can't i can't grasp this mm -hmm. then robert had dinner with him yesterday again and mm -hmm. for four hours he was arguing about what i had talked about and his <laughs> view because it came from a religious mindset mm -hmm. so here's here's what i want to say so many people in the church use the word the kingdom of god and they mm -hmm. have no idea what they are yes. talking about mm -hmm. because in their mind it's a religion it's the yes. same as christianity mm -hmm. but it is not so mm -hmm. this pastor, of course, we want to learn more about this kingdom. Please mm -hmm. come to our church and teach us. Mm -hmm. But then when you actually start unraveling mm -hmm. that it's a nation and it's the the king's domain mm -hmm. here in a colony, mm -hmm. and Jesus is king, and yes. his law is his word, and mm -hmm. he holds it above his name, and we mm -hmm. obey mm -hmm. in, the, in the kingdom. It was it caused conflict if mm -hmm. you come from religious foundation, yes. religious mm -hmm. mindset. Mm -hmm. So he wanted that without understanding what it actually was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he had no understanding mm -hmm. of what a kingdom is. Mm -hmm. So I want to be very careful when we use this word, the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. that we have it in proper context mm -hmm. and that we don't think it's a religion. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because we think the government of God and we have we have watered it down to religion, then we will have no concept mm -hmm. about why Jesus came. Yes. What our what our responsibilities here on the earth are. And it's very important that we understand the book is about a king, mm -hmm. his kids, and the kingdom. Yes. <laughs> Good girl. Okay. I'll be done in a little bit, okay? 
okay? <laughs> so I wanted to bring that all to context mm -hmm. so that we have understanding of exactly what a kingdom is. Yes. yes. Wow. So kingdom definition per Dr. Miles Monroe, he laid it out. He did mm -hmm. all the work for us. Mm -hmm. He said the sovereign rulership mm -hmm. and governing authority of a king mm -hmm. over his territory, mm -hmm. his domain, impacting it with his will, his intent, and his purpose, mm -hmm. thus producing a community yes. of citizens, mm -hmm. expressing a culture yes. that reflects his nature mm -hmm. and his lifestyle mm -hmm. of the king. That's right. That's what a kingdom is. Mm -hmm. So it's not about rituals and traditions. Mm -hmm. and yes, that's right. Jesus says we... To the religious people, you have put a weight on the people that they themselves cannot even carry. Mm -hmm. Anything beyond the mandates that Jesus gave us is a burden. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I'm going to say that again so you understand. Anything beyond the mandates of what Jesus told us to do. What did he tell us to do? Mm -hmm. Go make disciples. Yes. Mm -hmm baptize them in, in mm -hmm. the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach them everything I have taught you. Mm -hmm. That is our responsibility. Then he says, love one another. Mm -hmm. Love God. Obey the commandments. If you yes. love me, you'll obey me. Yes. He said, my sheep. Mm -hmm. Then he said, occupy now. Mm -hmm. Occupy till I come. Anything beyond the mandates that he gave us, it's a burden. Mm. Mm. Yes. Wow, oh, this is powerful. So I, I'm always conscious of my mandate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. The word that Jesus said. So we must all be conscious. Mm -hmm. So then we, we're not doing what we're not called to do and yes. wasting mm -hmm. our time and our energy and Trying. going mm -hmm. through the motions and getting mm -hmm. exhausted and then... Mm -hmm create this burden and we mm -hmm. and religion puts a burden on mm -hmm. yes whereas in the kingdom we have freedom and liberty that's right. <laughs> yes that's right to obey the laws mm -hmm. amen so we must keep it all in proper context so that being said now i want to I want to check my time go into the three <laughs> views of the mm -hmm. kingdom yes wow. the number one camp now i'm getting started my message mm -hmm. okay <laughs> the number one camp that many people fall into, that I was once in, mm -hmm. is the future is bleak. It's horrible. Look what's going on. Mm -hmm. But the rapture is our hope. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So they view themselves as holy, but are persecuted remnant in terms of the present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they, they think, okay, the enemy is in position of many of the secular institutions, the mm -hmm. systems. And the Antichrist is behind the scenes manipulating yes. events for evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, the, and the papers are full of material to support these views. But mm -hmm. the Bible is very clear. The love of many will grow dim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the the Bible is very clear of what is going on. But the problem with this camp is their hearts are projected all the way to heaven. And they aren't available here mm -hmm. on earth the kingdom because everything in the present what's going to happen will be destroyed by wars and famines mm -hmm, yeah. and earthquakes and so they say well, what's the point mm -hmm, yes so in this camp their hearts are positioned with hope in the rapture mm -hmm. and they're just in neutral waiting waiting mm -hmm. for their safety mm -hmm. when is he coming we're just gonna wait it's horrible mm -hmm. so this camp tends to avoid getting involved in the systems mm -hmm in the marketplace yes making a difference yes mm -hmm. they avoid it because they're waiting mm -hmm. but jesus said uh in matthew 24 you will hear wars rumors yes. of wars but such things must happen mm -hmm. this is just the beginning it's not the end yet mm -hmm. yes and is still yet to come mm -hmm. nations will rise kingdom against na a nation kingdom against kingdoms mm -hmm. there will be famines there will be earthquakes various places these are just the beginning of birthing pains yeah we don't know how long the birthing pains will be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nobody knows that. Mm -hmm. And then he says, you'll be handed and persecuted. And he continues many false prophets. He mm -hmm. continues the increase of wickedness, which mm -hmm. we are seeing. It's yes. been becoming blatant. Mm -hmm. The lifestyle and the culture of the world mm -hmm. is increasingly yes. getting worse mm -hmm. and worse. Mm -hmm. and the standards are going so low, mm -hmm. anything is acceptable. Mm -hmm. Then he says, the love of most will grow cold. Mm -hmm. but he who stands firm till the end will be saved. And then he says, but this gospel, he was very mm -hmm. specific, yes. which gospel mm -hmm. would be preached. And then the end will the end come. Will come. Wow. So we have work to do. Yeah. So are you saying the kingdom of God is about being responsible to the mandate of our king? Occupy now. Yes. Occupy until I come. Mm -hmm. He didn't say wait. That's Sit right. around and wait until mm -hmm. I come. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. Occupy is activity. It's a verb. Yes. You're, you're, you're bearing fruit for the kingdom. You're advancing the kingdom through your gifting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was his mandate. Mm -hmm. Okay, I could stay there all day. But we're on a time limit. <laughs> Camp number two. Are you ready for this yes. one? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is good. So excited. <laughs> Camp number two says, and this, I was in this one too. It's bad now, but revival is coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this has largely been a position of the prophetic movement. Mm -hmm. Now, revivals historically in places like Toronto, Brownsville, mm -hmm. which I was at, I went, I was there, <laughs> remind us of God's ability to break out in power. So we mm -hmm. build our expectations around God's miraculous intervention, mm -hmm. and we position our hearts to anticipate future in, uh, revival in the future. Mm -hmm. But did Jesus ever talk about revival? Mm -hmm. Revival is to revive, to awaken. Mm -hmm. But this is what Jesus said, Luke 24, 49. He said, I am going to send you what my father has promised. Mm -hmm. Now, what was his father's promise? What did Adam lose mm -hmm. in the garden? Mm -hmm. What did man need to be restored back to? Mm -hmm. Now, Adam didn't fall out of heaven. So God is not going to restore store us back to a place we didn't fall. Mm -hmm. We fell from dominion power, mm -hmm. control over the circumstances, subduing, ruling, stewardship, kingship over the earth. Mm -hmm. So Jesus said, I am going to send you what my father promised, mm -hmm. which the next statement is the promise. Wow. But stay in the city until you have been clothed with power wow. mm -hmm. from on Yes, that's true. That's right. So Jesus redeemed, restored mm -hmm. everything we lost. That's right. So what are we still waiting for? A revival. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he gave us what we lost. The Holy Spirit, Spirit which is power. Mm -hmm. To dominate, to have dominion, mm -hmm. to influence, to overcome sickness and disease mm -hmm. and circumstances. So again, it's like we're still in this waiting mode for either the rapture or revival. Mm -hmm. You see the strategy of the enemy? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's power we mm -hmm. lost. Now, camp number three. <laughs> you ready for this one? Yes. yes. <laughs> the kingdom is in you. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this camp, we see the kingdom of God is already established. Mm -hmm. Redeemed us. He gave us back kingdom, dominion, power. Mm -hmm. The kingdom has arrived. It, mm -hmm. it cannot see it with your careful observation for it's in you. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. See it as our job to advance it here on the earth. Mm -hmm. God needs a human flesh body. Yes. Because that's who he gave dominion rights mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Them have dominion, right? So you have to have a body. So our hearts are positioned in the present now wow. to make a difference in society mm -hmm. and solve the problems that's, right. that's the king i'm in mm -hmm. so the kingdom of god is present on earth and those that can see it are living it those that understand it can expand it 
Yes. yes. Our hearts oh. are positioned in the present to make a difference today. That's the camp I'm in. I used to be in camp one, waiting for rapture, camp two, waiting for revival, waiting on God, sitting around on the sidelines, wondering when is it going to happen? Uh, but then I discovered the pearl, wow. the treasure, mm -hmm. the kingdom of God, and it's in you. Wow. Yes. Amen. And Jesus said, Mark 9, 1, I tell you the truth, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God come with power. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he gave that back to us through the work of the cross. Mm -hmm. So we cannot appropriate now mm -hmm. if we postpone the kingdom right. to when we get to heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, when we get to heaven, everything will be as it should be. And when the Pharisees asked Jesus, because all, all he was talking about was this kingdom, they said, okay, when is it coming? <laughs> and he said, that's wrong with your careful observation. You cannot say here it is or there it is, because the kingdom of God is within you. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you have the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You have the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So these are the three different views that we have in the camps. So mm -hmm. I want to reiterate and bring it back to the beginning. The Bible is not about religion. Mm -hmm. Yes. God's original intent was to extend his heavenly kingdom on earth. Now, I want to tell you something. Genesis 1 and 2 is the original intent, purpose, and will of God for mankind walking yes. on the earth. He created a garden. Mm -hmm. gave us his Holy Spirit, his mm -hmm. spirit. And we... Adam was just enjoying life, walking mm -hmm. with Perfect. Adam every day, enjoying mm -hmm. the animals, enjoying <laughs> his life. It was natural. Mm -hmm. He wasn't going to church. He didn't build an altar. Yes. He didn't have to beg God for his needs to be met. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was living it. So that's the goal of God. So Genesis 1 and 2 is the original tent. And the rest of the Bible from Genesis 3, mm -hmm. chapter 3 to Revelation is a restoration program to get us back to one and two. Wow. wow. Perfect. So when I'm living my life, I'm conscious of two things. Well, I could say three things. Staying in right standing, staying in righteousness. My mandates, what my king told me to do, mm -hmm. all of us to do. Mm -hmm. And what was it like in Genesis one and two? <laughs> How it wasn't toiling. Adam wasn't going through rituals and traditions. Religion, there was no religion. Mm -hmm. He was enjoying yeah. his relationship with God mm -hmm. and enjoying his life on the earth. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Anything beyond those components are a burden. Yes. Wow. And our bodies get sick mm -hmm. and stressed and start breaking down if we live beyond anything. We, were, yes. we weren't created to toil. Yes. Mm -hmm. So those, those, that's where my mindset is. When I started understanding and seeking the kingdom, what does this look like? Mm -hmm. We go through emotions all the time that religion has put on. And that was tough for me to do. I have to tell you guys, it's tough because I was indoctrinated for 35 years with religion. Mm -hmm. And if I was sitting in church, I was in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> if I was in the prayer meetings every time, I was in trouble. <laughs> my mom, I would hear from it from my mom, even as an adult. It sounds familiar here also. <laughs> <laughs> but if a church is not teaching mm -hmm. the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. I have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. And so I thank God for the kingdom. He says, blessed are you who are poor in spirit. Yours is the kingdom of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was poor in spirit. I was like, I got to figure this out because... There's got to be more than this. Mm -hmm. I wasn't settled with it. I was always seeking going to conferences. I was always looking for more, not understanding. I hadn't found it yet because I thought I found it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You think you got it. Mm -hmm. Then I discovered the kingdom because I told God when my mom died, I said, I want it all and I want it now. And for eight months, that was my message to God. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what it was. I didn't know 
But I was like, there's got to be more. Yeah. And I said, I want it all and I want it now. And that was the cry of my spirit. Mm -hmm. Mentally, I didn't understand because I thought I, I'm in Christianity. I'm mm -hmm. good, right? Yeah. We found, got it all figured out. I was in the faith camp. I went to the prophetic camp. I mean, I went to all the other camps. We've come up with a lot of camps. You know, there's 44,000 denominations. Mm, yes. yeah. you, you, you know, when I heard the kingdom, although I am a pastor, it, my state in that uh, season is I, am, is I am spiritually broke, bankrupt, and in bondage, although I am a pastor. Mm -hmm. But when I heard the message of the kingdom, it set me free. That's how the you kingdom know what works the in my life. I know how you feel. You're you're <laughs> free. That word bless, blessed are you who are poor in spirit for yours the kingdom of God. That word blessed means relieved. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Relieved are you. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> that burden of religion is mm -hmm. off. I'm relieved mm -hmm. to live in this kingdom mm -hmm. here on earth. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not a weight. Mm -hmm. Yes. He didn't say, take on this weight, mm -hmm. did he? He didn't. <laughs> uh, okay, I have four minutes left. Let me let me see where I want to, to uh, wind down here. So man was created to dominate the earth, the environment of earth, but not other people, yeah. not mankind. Man is not to rule man, but the environment. Mm -hmm. So we're created to dominate the resources of the earth in an area of gifting. Mm -hmm. That's right. What we were born to do. We were created mm -hmm. to dominate in your designated domain mm -hmm. so when you find your area of gifting you have found your domain yeah. and this mm -hmm. is the key to your leadership yes. this is the key to your personal purpose mm -hmm. anything beyond operating your purpose I, I call toiling now I want to I want to I want to explain one thing and I'm going to end mm -hmm. Genesis 1 and 2 it, it, particularly in Genesis 2 you will see it says God placed man in the garden to work it to manage it to take yeah. care of it so use mm -hmm. the word work mm -hmm. but then if you'll see you know adam fell he mm -hmm. committed treason mm -hmm. then in genesis 3 the curse that god gave him was you will toil mm -hmm. on the earth you will toil the ground you have to work hard to make your own food now it doesn't just grow from the trees in abundance mm -hmm. yes. in the garden and you will toil so when I use the word work, it means what you were born to do, mm -hmm. what you love to do, mm -hmm. it's work, but mm -hmm. it's not toiling. Mm -hmm. Toiling is working hard incessantly and getting nowhere. It's like beating the air. Mm -hmm. You're just, yes. nothing's happening. You're just working so hard and there's no fruit. Mm -hmm. And that's how most people are in life. Mm -hmm. They are toiling in life. But when you found your life work, you know what you were born to do. You understand your mandate. You have the kingdom. You're relieved yes. of religion. Yes. I'm relieved of Christianity. Mm -hmm. I'm relieved of ah, all those weights that, that puts on you and the guilt you have if you don't go to church on Sunday. And ah, <laughs> <laughs> so you're relieved of all that. Mm -hmm. So when you discover your gifting, through your life work, not toiling, yeah. mm -hmm. through your life work, your gifting, you develop it, you refine it, people will seek you out. So our life is a reflection of our gifting, the kingdom of God through our lifestyle, our behavior. Mm -hmm. And this is where God is glorified. This is how we advance his kingdom. Yes. Simply living it out in our lives by our decisions, staying in right, right standing, our lifestyle, our behavior, our attitude, how we treat people, how we talk to people, mm -hmm. how we respond to situations, because mm -hmm. it's not all easy, how we forgive people, yeah. how we love. So this is the key to mm -hmm. living in the kingdom, advancing it through your heart's desire. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a complicated program that, that God designed for us. It's simple, but religion has complicated it. Yes, mm. that's right. So we have a lot of undoing to do. Now, Jesus breathed. If you look, when they received the Holy Spirit, he said, mm -hmm. receive. If you see in Genesis 2, that's how God created and formed man and mm -hmm. breathed mm -hmm. the breath of 
life. Jesus came back and did that again, received to receive once again. He did what God did in Genesis 2. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got the Holy Spirit, because that's what they lost. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. God doesn't blow generally, randomly. Whatever you received, you are filled with. Whatever he blew, the vision he blew and sent you here, that you inspires you, that gives you passion. You know, you are inflated, possessed with God's assignment for your wow. life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can't get rid of the dreams and the ideas that you have. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is important. Believe in the vision that he's yes. given you. Mm-hmm. Believe your purpose, why you were born to do. It can be as simple as, being a very gifted architect mm-hmm. and influence the kingdom of God. If I had time, I'd give you stories of how that <laughs> naturally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. without going around handing out tracks mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or knocking on doors and giving them groceries, which I, I, I did back in the day. Here's some groceries. <laughs> Sounds uh, familiar. <laughs> and they were mad because they worked all night and we woke them up. They didn't want to hear about God. I just woke them up. <laughs> so we must stay busy preparing and occupying now that's mm-hmm. right that's our mandate making disciples these are our mandates mm-hmm. so the kingdom comes to others through your passion your gifting your lifestyle mm-hmm. and every one of us needs to identify and adopt a particular area of influence according to our passion mm-hmm. yes that's our responsibility mm-hmm. you know i gotta tell you God is not terribly concerned with the church size and church ministries. These are all sidelines to his main goal. Mm -hmm. What is God's main goal? For his nations to walk, for the nations here on earth to walk after him in kingdom principles. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. To reflect his kingdom on earth. Mm -hmm. And I finish with this, Matthew 21, 43. For I say unto you, the kingdom of God God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, a people bringing forth its fruits. Wow. <laughs> Let's all be fruit makers, advancing the kingdom yeah. of God through our and not sitting fruit. around. That's right. Yes. <laughs> wow. wow. Thank you very much for that powerful message. Thank you for your life. And before we end today, can you invite the people to what's also your program? Because you have a program, yes. Can you invite? Sure. <laughs> we have a mentorship program. You can find everything on tristasue.com. I have a YouTube channel, Trista Sue, Agents of Change. Facebook, Agents of Change. So on all the platforms. And uh, we are working on a very special project. I don't want to announce it. Maybe next <laughs> time I'll announce it. But it's... it's something I've been waiting for for probably 10 years. Wow. Mm-hmm. Waiting wow. for technology to catch up mm-hmm. and, and to be cost effective to do. Um, so I'm very excited. So I'll announce that shortly on my platforms uh, in the next two months, probably. Wow. Wow. So it was wow. That was indeed a very, uh, congratulations for your uh, different types of platform you're working and i know that there are a lot of people who are being touched Mm -hmm. by your life especially the teaching that that they've been hearing especially in your facebook live so sometimes i i go with your facebook and uh, watch the messages and learn some messages that really inspires me and uplift my spirit and uh, we really Appreciate and thank you, Mom Trisha, for your life. Thank you. It's been an honor. Always love seeing you guys. Yes. Thank you. And come to the Philippines. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the last time we will have you in this program. Yes. This is only the beginning. And Kingdom, salute to you. Bye for now. Bye, Mom Trisha. Bye. <laughs>